morning. Oh, hello. Hi there. Are you in your kitchen? I am, yes. Did you of make... course, where else would I be? Right, are you making French toast and pancakes? Uh, no, not now, I'm just on my lunch break. I already ate though, so Oh, that's good. right. Well, it's early for us, I forgot. Where are you located? What state are you in? I'm in Massachusetts. I live just outside Boston. Oh, awesome. All right, well, I'd like to introduce you to our kindergarten first and second graders. We are so excited to Skype with you. Thank you for your time. Of course. Hi. So, have you guys read Lady Pancake and Sir French Toast? Yes. 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 Ah, so, who here is on Team Lady Pancake? So who's on Team Sir French Toast? Yes. Yeah. Oh, tell them, tell them what you had for breakfast this morning. Who's on Team Baron Von Roth? Ooh. Me. Okay. 
Um, oh, sorry, I lost you for a second. Okay, that's okay, we're back, good. Okay, um, so, yeah, so it took about four years, and that's not even that long. I see a lot of books in, in, in your media center here, and um, it's, uh, most of those books probably took about just as long. Wow. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's a lot of hard work and perseverance, that's for sure. Um, I'm going to repeat their questions so everyone else can go ahead and say what your Put question your is. Down. What's your favorite page from the book? Ooh, if you had to single it out to a fa oh, and he looks like he has one. That's that's a good question. I, I do have a favorite page. It is the Bean Avalanche. Oh. That is my favorite page. And I think that it's my favorite because it's so colorful and... I also talked to the illustrator, so I didn't draw the pictures in this book. Uh, Brendan Kearney drew the pictures, and he actually lives in England. I've never met him, but I've, I've emailed him a little bit. Um, but uh, he said it took him an entire week just to color in the beans, and um, I thought that was really cool. That if you look, each every single one of the beans has a, has a different face and a different texture and a different color. Um, and, uh, so, do you guys like doing art at all? Anybody like art, painting, and drawing? Well, that's awesome. If you work on your writing and your drawing, someday you could spend an entire week coloring in. Well, if, if you were asking me, am I, do I like uh, Sir French Toast or Lady Pancake, I'd have to go with Baron Von Waffles out of those three. Um, but I think my favorites probably are these uh, two little twin beats. I really love the twin beats. I think they're adorable. They're, they're brother and sister. There's a lion in between them. But do you, does anybody like beats? Do you guys like beats? Raise, raise your hand if you like beats. Oh, that's great. Beats are, wow, a lot of people love it. Beats are awesome. They turn your face all purple and your hands all red and purple. And, uh, and they're really, really sweet, too. Everybody should go home tonight and, and ask for beats for dinner. Tell them that Josh Funk said so. Okay? <laughs> Second grade, 
Um, my son, my son is in second grade, and uh, I love reading picture books and chapter books with him. I'm, I was a huge Harry Potter fan. I actually have a couple of my favorite books here. Um, I don't know if anybody knows this book, Iggy Peck Architect. Um, it's uh, it's the same author and illustrator as Rosie Revere Engineer. If you know that one, but um, this is this is one of my favorite books, and it's it's. Uh, I, I can read you the first the first page, but it really it's what made me want to become a writer is from from reading. Um, it goes, young Iggy Peck was an architect and has been since he was two when he built a tower in only an hour with nothing but diapers and glue. <laughs> So, I don't know, I, I thought this was really funny and I really, really liked it. So, yeah, I, I, I love books. This is another one that I like now. It's non-fiction. Yes. Awesome. It's, it's kind of gross, but um, it's actually really, really entertaining. And uh, it's, it's, if your library doesn't have it, it just came out, so we, I'll get it soon. We actually just opened it. It will be here very soon. I can't wait to Awesome. Yes. That's great. It's yes. fantastic. Yes, thank you. That, that's a, did, did I need help when I was writing my book? Yeah, that, that's a great question. It takes a lot of people to make a book. When I was writing it at first, actually I shared it with a bunch of friends of mine. When you guys write, do you do you share your stories with your friends at all? Do some of that? Yeah. I mean, and, and it was a lot of fun, and they would tell me things they liked about it, and tell me things that they thought were better, um, and uh, or that they thought that could be better, and they gave me ideas. So yeah, I, I had a lot of help writing the book. And then same the illustrator, I didn't I didn't draw the pictures, somebody else did. And there's a whole team of people who figured out how to make the cover and what it should look like, and and um, how to make the the last page, you know pull down like it does. And these are not things that I had any part in. There's a whole a whole team of people that, that figured all this stuff out. So that yeah, was a really fun page. A lot of help. That, that page got a lot of reaction when we got to open the refrigerator and that was cool. All right, so thank you. Thank you. Okay, a couple more questions and then we'll go ahead. What's your favorite animal? Oh, my favorite animal. I, I, I would generally, I think I'll go with a tiger. Like a really, really awesome tiger. Oh, you know what? Like a like a Bengal tiger. Um, I'm not gonna read you Beard Dragon, but I will show you a picture from it um, that the illustrator drew, and that kind of tiger is my favorite. Whoa. That's cool. Beautiful. Okay, thank you. What's my favorite book of all time? Uh, I'm a pretty big Harry Potter fan. Yeah. Uh, I love Harry Potter. Um, and uh, I think I think Iggy Peck Architect that I showed you is one of my favorites. And then another one is this book here. It's called The Curious Garden. Um, I don't know if anybody knows that book, but it was illustrated, written and illustrated by the same person who illustrated Creepy Carrots. Do you guys know Creepy Carrots? We know Creepy Carrots. We know yeah, Curious probably Garden. Do. Yeah. So um, this is one of my favorite books of all time, The Curious Garden. It's another one of those books that made me want to become a writer. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Thank you. We love the song by him, Emily Arrow. Oh yeah, she's fantastic. Are you guys near her at all? We're very near. She came to us a couple weeks ago. She's coming back next Thursday oh, for a wow, concert. Wow, that's yeah. so lucky. Yeah. I think, actually, it's nothing official, but she's going to um, do a song with me for Dear oh, Dragon. Oh, she's got goosebumps. <laughs> that's awesome. We can't wait. Cool. Here's our last Hi. question. Okay, shh. The weather like there? The weather? Um, it's, it was pretty snowy out, but it was warm this week. So we had some snow last week, but now it's pretty much melted away. So it's chilly, you know, like you got to wear winter coats. I don't know, you guys are in Southern California, so yeah. you kind of <laughs> don't even own winter coats. But um, yeah, it's pretty cold up here in, in Massachusetts. So um, yeah. Have you been to the Eric Carle Museum? I want to go there so bad. I was there last week for a signing, actually. Oh, yes. so cool. Uh, they had a Mary Blair exhibit, which was awesome. She, oh. she did the It's a Small World at Disney yes. World and designed a lot of Disney stuff. And, and actually, all the little golden books are basically in her style. Oh, my so, God. That's, that's a lot of fun. so cool. Yeah. I'm jealous. All right. Say thank you. Thank you.
Okay, thank you. That was our last question. Awesome. So I am going to read you a book that doesn't come out until August 30th. Okay, but I'm going to stop recording then. Yeah. <laughs> you got to promise.